Well, look at this. Video to our monitor shows us the stunner known as the Northern Lights. They showed up in some pretty rare spots last night. You know, normally you can only see these Northern Lights close to our planet's poles, but look at this. Proof that this perfect storm of charged particles and molecules in the atmosphere brought this colorful show to many parts of the UK and the US. These time lapses captured the view in the UK, in Maine, Massachusetts, and in Delaware. Zoe, I know you're a scientist. Yes. How what and why, friend? Well, I mean, we don't just have an atmosphere. We also have something called a magnetosphere. And that is the reason that we have the northern lights, because the north and south poles actually have magnets on them, or they are magnetized, and they create these awesome lights that we see in the sky. And right now, we're at the peak of our solar cycle. It lasts about 11 years, and we are really seeing that solar cycle peaking. Last night, it was really aggressive. Tonight, if you live across the far northern parts of the United States, you could even get in on that action as well. Last night, as far south as Florida, yes, the Keys of Florida saw a little bit of that uh, golden action, those reds, those pinks, those greens. Tonight, there is still that slight potential again, but it's going to be a little bit further north. And by Saturday, we're already looking at that activity weekend. However, if you want to spend any sort of time outdoors, it's very important to know the heat is still going to be on. If you live across the desert southwest, that heat not going anywhere anytime soon. And it is unfortunately also going to create create some big heat advisories might even be breaking more records down across the desert southwest where you see these colors and these deep, dark, menacing reds, even getting into those little white areas. That's because those temperatures are going to be well above 100 degrees once again. Phoenix likely going to be seeing those 105 degree high temperatures, even as far south as southern floor or southern California, Los Angeles, 74, Las Vegas, 94. So it's really just across the desert southwest that's feeling the heat across the east coast of the United States, there is a little bit of a heat up or at least across the central part where we are looking at a ridge also beginning to build across the central United States. It's bringing those temperatures across Texas into the 90s and heat indices even higher. But then notice across the northeast, these temperatures feeling a lot more like fall and an even bigger cool down is on the way for those of you that do live across the east coast of the United States. So let's take a look at that because we're looking at a very large storm system that is going to be impacting you as soon as Monday of next week. And it's really interesting to see those cooler temperatures making their way across the United States. So today, yes, you're feeling a little bit of that chill, but most of us aren't going to feel nearly as much of a chill until we step out for the later parts of the weekend. So let's take a wider look at this, that storm system beginning to push down across the east coast of the United States. And then look, Sunday and into Monday, that big, big blast of Arctic air is coming directly from Canada, bringing high temperatures in the 50s. Yes, 50s returning to the forecast by as soon as Monday of next week. So there is going to be more fall like weather read. Finally, I'm looking forward to sweater weather feeling like spooky season because it is and most of us have been feeling still like summer, even though we're halfway through October almost. Right. And for everybody watching, say it with me. Magnetosphere. Yes, magnetosphere. Thank you. Fun Learned times. Something new. <laughs>